so SSV first and foremost is something that um, should allow us to minimize the risk for our users. I, th I think it's also, um, other than the users themselves, I mean, today the biggest, as you've mentioned, the biggest operational risk, um, development risk um, is really slashing. Um, I mean, you could sustain a downtime if you're an operator. Of course, it's not ideal, but um, but generally speaking, even if you're down for a few hours, like the, the the impact on your customers is very minimal in terms of the actual rewards they lost. Uh, but slashing is a whole different ball game, uh, especially uh, you know until we have withdrawals. But even afterwards, you'll have uh, you know if, for example, you have a very long exit queue, uh, you could get stuck for for months, uh, even after withdrawals. Uh, and not, of course, mentioning the actual penalty you'll get. Um, I think with SSV, you can lower the operational risk and complexity much, much uh, lower and, and, and really save a lot of money on cost and of development and cost of insurance and all of those uh, type of things. Uh, you know, you could Im definitely imagine uh, a world where you have four or seven operators on a validator and one of the operators says, you know, tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'm going down for four hours for maintenance and nothing really happens. Everyone continues their work and, and uh, there's no impact on the users. Um, and that operator can do uh, upgrades and changes and so on and so forth. And, and of course, another layer of that is you have a, a robust infrastructure layer where you're much less worried about changing stuff uh, because today everyone is building their own infrastructure. And of course, there's always that worry, you know, if I've changed this, what's the effect on that and so on and so forth. Um, and not even talking about accidental slashing, which is, you know, could be a very honest mistake, but uh, but could get slashing um, to, for your validators. And so I think the whole kind of, um, let's say the the edge or the or the amount of anxiety you have for everything you do in your system will be 99% lower just because you're working as a committee. Yes. It's like, I, I always say to people, it's like, you know, it's like, imagine that your validator is the only one, is the only one on, on, the, on the Ethereum net and it's the only one proposing and attesting. And now imagine you have another 100,000. So it's the same thing, right? I mean, uh, once you distribute, you, you reduce a lot of the risk. Yes, absolutely. And uh, also thinking from the perspective of, you know, who are the actual node operators in the ecosystem? I think SSV has a potential to um, democratize the node operator mar market. Yeah. Uh, because I, I think these days people tend to go for like the proven uh, established node operators. Uh, and what this contributes to is decentralization of sorts, sorry, centralization of sorts, yeah. uh, where, where the bigger you get, the more deposits you attract. And yeah. then I think SSV enables, you know, the opposite effect where you, you can say have an extra two or three node operators running your validator. Uh, and, and give them a chance essentially whenever they are new and uh, un un untested because you can afford the risk of them going down because the others are supposed to be working. And then uh, gradually, I believe this could contribute to uh, wider decentralization in, in the market and of course, in turn uh, towards more stable earnings and uh, just a, a like lesser, lesser risk. 